Rockstar surprises us with everything by actually showing us the first big look of Grand Theft Auto 6. And oh my days does this game look beautiful. The trailer wasn't as supposed to come out as early as it did, but somehow some leaker from one of the fan bases managed to leak the whole trailer, which made it actually come out a little bit earlier that night. So I guess we can all thank the leaker and pray to Holy Grail that he's actually okay, because the FBI might actually be his house right now as we speak. GT6 trailer opens up with a brand new protagonist and the first ever female protagonist in the GT whole entire franchise and that is Lucia. She seems to be a prisoner that has actually been kept into the Vice City prison or whatever it looks like and it seems like she's probably going to end up breaking out or being in somewhere that she's already done and we're going to actually see her live a better life in Vice City which uh, I'm actually excited to see a female protagonist because it seems like we've just got a ton of female characters now especially with the whole female power thing now and it seems like we're just seeing a lot more female badassery which is very nice to see. Getting into the whole sprawl of Miami which looks absolutely beautiful. I've not been to Miami yet myself but I'm planning to go probably this summer because this game makes Miami look incredible. Especially with all the nightlife and especially with the beach scene which we let, let, not gonna lie to you there was so many people on that beach I couldn't even count. There was people putting suntan lotion on, there was some guy taking a picture of girls with some girl's booty like there was a ton of stuff going on and all my days I think we're all thinking what I'm thinking how many people can we kill by driving through that yeah I'm gonna try that when it comes out as that caption ends we actually get right into the nightlife of Miami and all my days the whole car selection of this game looks fucking phenomenal I mean we saw at the start we saw some Porsches we saw some Ferraris outside parked outside the strip club we also saw some kind of Lamborghini looking thing around too and uh, yeah man I can't wait to see what kind of new cars they add into this game because it's going to be simply erotic and uh, it's going to be it's going to be very nice compared to the amount of cars we had in GTA 5 which I think they could actually top if they actually they double the cars so yeah man it's going to be good for car wise and also when we get into the strip club scene yeah, I mean, it's not GTA without a strip club, so I'm, I'm not really that surprised. But damn, the jiggly physics in this game is gonna be different, I'm telling you that. This game being set in 2025, we actually do kind of see some of these uh, social media events happening, and I believe that some of these are actually real and did happen in real life. Some of them are shaking some girl's booty on top of a car, some guy's naked chasing out a crocodile, some guys just completely stand there with two hammers. Actually, is that, is that, I think it's a girl, actually. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, it was actually a girl with hammers. And all apparently, these things all happen in America. So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, at least Rockstar knows some good attention to detail. And there's probably going to be even more strange characters as we walk through the city. So, yeah, I can't wait for that. It's going to be very good. And um, who knows, we may actually stumble across Jesus again. Fuck you, I'll see you at work. I am with you always. Yes. To the end of time, I am the way, the truth, and the line. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now midway through the trailer we actually get introduced to some kind of guy that is with Lucia. It's not really confirmed who this guy is or who he is related to yet, like if he is her brother or if it's his or her uh, boyfriend. So yeah, we don't know much about this guy but we could actually be end up playing as both of them or we could end up having to choose a character which I think they may as well go down the choose a character route because you might want to be a girl and then sometimes you just might want to be a boy but uh, yeah honestly it depends if we do get the same character switcher like we did in GTA 5 but however I do think having the switching capabilities would be cool again as we could experience two different stories again which I think would be an absolute W. And also in the background we do actually see some kind of ammunition store which actually looks like it's branded to something else now so I don't know if we're going to even see ammunition again in this game uh, perhaps it was just a Lost Santa exclusive but we may actually still see ammunition as a thing in this game but uh, from what it looks like it, the name is probably going to be changed up a little bit but uh, yeah as you said the ammunition is here to stay and uh, yeah man I can't wait to purchase even more guns to kill people with yay 
I never thought I'd be saying that. Jesus Christ, what GT6? What have you been doing to me? Even the gameplay trailer, I think the graphics in this game so far look incredible. The whole realistic setting of it makes it look a hundred times better than what GT5 was and I thought GT5 looked good 10 years ago. But this is now how the realism that we have now in video games today. And it's pretty cool that now we have PS5 and Xbox Series X to thank for that because this is going to look phenomenal on those consoles. And yeah man, I just can't wait to check out for myself in two years when I'll be 21 years old. That's wild. What the hell am I going to do then? Play GT6 for 20 hours? I guess so. Kind of final shot we see of the trailer as the two both characters go in to rob the convenience store as we cut to the logo. Now I actually think this logo wasn't the best. I think they could have used a much better logo. Like for example the fan made ones are a great example of that. Like I like how the corner of like Miami is kind of inside uh, the Vice City kind of logo. The colours all look really nice. But yeah, I don't know what to think of this logo yet. It's a little bit odd. I thought they were just going to make it like how they always do it with the kind of like Roman numeral kind of letters in the front instead of behind but uh, yeah who knows we might actually see a little bit of a change to it as the two years go by but as I said I mean anything could happen they could start changing things all, all of a sudden but you know I mean it's just a little nitpick I have however GTA 6 is officially upon us lads and I can't wait to play this game and live stream it in the next two years even though it probably will go in like clockwork I promise you that uh, but yeah man, I mean GT6 is here and it's here to stay man, so yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts is down below about GT6 and uh, if you have any other things you think they should add into this game, make sure to leave a comment down below and let me know. So without further ado guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and peace!